boys and girls, today is day two of your Peter Max pop art project that we are making to get ready for Veterans Day to decorate our school and show appreciation to the veterans who serve our country. Um, today you will be getting back your two painted papers that you created last time. So you have a white piece with maybe some red or pinkish um, paint on it. And then you have your blue paper that you... Um, have white and red paint on and that you use texture tools to create some different patterns on that. Uh, we are going to be creating a collage today where we will put everything together that we cut out and create and glue it together to make one piece of pop art. So you will start today by choosing a symbol of our country like the flag or the Statue of Liberty or the Liberty Bell or maybe even a soldier, a picture of a soldier or a few soldiers. Um, you will get to choose one or maybe even two of these symbols, cut them out, and then we are going to be gluing them on. Um, when you cut out your symbol, you do not have to cut around every single little piece. You can kind of cut a white border around the outside of whatever you choose to make that a little bit easier for you, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so now that you have a couple of examples of how to cut around the symbols, um, you just choose one and you'll cut around that. Um, like I said, if you want to do more than one, you're welcome to do more than one. Um, so now what you are going to do is take that symbol or symbols that you cut out and arrange and rearrange where you think it might go. Um, so all of our papers are going to be landscape style, so wide and across not portrait style up and down. So everyone is doing theirs landscape style. The blue painted paper will be on top of the white and then your symbol will be the last thing that you would put on. And I want you to just play around with where you put things. Your blue paper doesn't have to be right in the middle. You could put it um, diagonally, you could put it up to a corner, down to the other corner, and then mess around with where you put the image that you cut out too. So I think I'm liking it diagonal. And then maybe my soldier, actually, let's turn it back this way. Diagonal, and then my soldier going on this side. Okay. And now before I even glue, I want to add in some things, like write some things or even design with a black Sharpie or even a black Crayola marker is fine. So where I would suggest writing things, it's probably going to be a little bit tough to write anything on this blue painted paper because of how thick the paint is but I would write or draw designs around the border of the white paper. So that's what I'll do next. All right, so that is what you would do to draw um, any designs and write any words that you want to add to the message of your pop art project. Um, notice how I made my letters um, double as thick as what you would normally do um, so that people who are looking at your artwork can see them from far away. So make sure you make them nice and thick and readable. Um, you're welcome to do bubble letters and do something that really looks nice and stands out in your artwork. Um, you can also use a pencil first and then go over it in Sharpie if you would like to. My designs, I also went and did a double line to make them nice and thicker. They're kind of the border and the frame of my project. Alright, so after you are done with those designs, next you are getting your glue bottle out, opening that up, and we are going to talk about craftsmanship with glue next. All right, so with our glue bottle, you are third graders, you need to know how to use glue correctly and not have a huge, huge mess when you are gluing. So listen very carefully, this is part of your craftsmanship grade. This blue paper is really heavy, it is really um, full of paint from when we painted last time. So we will use more glue on this blue paper than what I would normally ask you to use on any other kind of paper. So you will be flipping your blue paper over. What I'm going to ask you to do is outline the edges of this paper with a line of glue. So you're going to just make one smaller rectangle going all the way around the edge. 
Now notice I'm not right on the edge of my paper with this, this line of glue. If you go too close to the edge with your line of glue, you will then, um, once you press this down on your other piece of paper, the glue will come out of the edge. So you need to leave about a half inch of room close to the edge um, where you are gluing. Also notice how thick my glue is. That is a pretty skinny line of glue. It's not squeezing really hard so that you get a ton of glue out as you go around. It's a skinny line of glue going all the way around the outside edge. We will also glue in the middle of this blue paper just again because of how heavy it is. So I will then ask you to make just kind of a wavy line going across your blue paper. So that has one, two, three, four bumps. That is it. It just needs to go across. It's the same thickness, does not have to be really thick. Normally I never have you put glue in the middle of your paper. It's usually just around the edges. But this is how I would like you to glue your blue paper. So then you would flip it over, put it back how you had arranged it before, and then with this one you will really want to press down and make sure it stays put. So press down around all the edges so that it stays down. If you do have any glue that comes out the edge, you need to get a paper towel and wipe it up so that it's nice and neat. All right, so that is the most glue you will probably ever use on a piece of paper during the school year. Now, when you go and get your symbol that you are going to glue on, you will glue this in the way that we normally would glue. And for this, we have a rhyme, dot, dot, not a lot. So you will flip this over and you are just going to be making dots, very small dots, around the edges of this shape that are about an inch apart, not right on the edge of the paper, but these are about an inch apart. You can see that. That's about how far apart they are. And they go all the way around the edge. I'm barely squeezing my glue bottle as I put these dots on all the way around the edge. And I am not putting any dots in the middle. I'm not putting any lines. These are just small, small dots of glue. Because this is thin paper, it's not really heavy. Um, we don't need a ton of glue for this. So just a few dots around the edges. They're one inch apart. Now I'll flip this over and set it where I had arranged it before. Again, pressing around the edges. If any glue would come out of the, these edges, then you would wipe that up. So dot, dot, not a lot is our rhyme. Um, now that everything is on here, your um, Veterans Day project is finished. Um, make sure you get your name on it, at least on the back, if not on the front as well. First and last name and class code. Good luck.